any of these because of the timelines and the vastness of this uh, topic. Uh, let's let's move on. Uh, Mr. Khan, I would like to so interrupt you. Uh, just a second. Your voice uh, went completely off for a while in between. So can you start it all over again because your voice went off completely. I don't know what happened, but we could not hear you. Uh, is it is it okay now? Yeah, it's good now. You can start. Okay. Uh, so I was. Uh, so let me first again um, go through the agenda. So today's agenda will be uh, what are the recommended systems and uh, why we need them. Uh, we will also see some examples, um, and we all, we will discuss the tools and techniques. Um, for the recommender systems, and then we will also uh, see what are the factors that will that generally impact the design when we are thinking of a recommender system, and then we will also see that how we can evaluate uh, any recommender system that we are designing or that we are implementing. And we will also go through the future of the recommender systems. Um, in general, what is the recommender system? In a very simplest terms, I can say that anything that can recommend, any system that can recommend can be called as a recommender system. And what is a general item that I can request for a recommendation? It can be a news, it can be books, um, it can be movies or music or vacations and cars. If you, if you notice that what I have done is I have uh, listed them in the way of uh, the involvement of the product. It means how much money or the time you are spending it, spending on these articles. Like if you are surfing through, a new, through the news on the web, it might not cost you anything. But if you're buying books or music or uh, movies, that may cost you somewhere around, uh, uh, you can say from $10 to $50. But when, when it comes to vacations or cars, it may cost you from $1,000 to even up to uh, $100,000. So depending upon uh, the, the extent of involvement in the product, the different recommender systems are there in the in the industry, and we will talk about those in the further slides. Uh, digging a little bit deeper into the uh, recommender systems definition, these are the techniques and the tools suggesting items of use to a user. So, in general, there are two types of uh, recommender systems. One is personalized, where we uh, request. Uh, explicit or the implicit needs of the user from them and then we will try to recommend the, the items or the products to them. And the non-personalized uh, where we don't seek any information from them, we will just recommend them maybe on the basis of top ratings or uh, we might be showing the same stuff to two multiple users who are seeing the web at the same time or it may be at the different time. So why do we do this? It means why do we do personalized, non-personalized? Because we don't have a precise information about the, what type of user is logged in or what type of user we are dealing with. Or going back to the restaurant example that I gave initially, uh, uh, sometimes we see that the featured item on the restaurant menu, that this is our today's featured menu, featured item. That can be uh, considered as a non-personalized item or non-personalized recommendation from the chef to the people who are, or to the guests who are visiting their restaurant, okay? So moving on to why there is a need of a uh, recommender system. Um, one of the famous quotes from Mitchell Kapoor, uh, getting information off of the internet um, is like taking it in from the fire hydrant. This definitely tells us that there is a lot of information on the web and it is really challenging and because we need to search through all these uh, information available available information and then uh, try to get the information that we need so to overcome the challenge of this own information overload we need some system that can save over time and uh, give us the exact information that we need the second need is a user experience user might not be having so much of time to invest to dig, dig through all this information it saves time it saves the user experience productivity and um, one of the major uh, uh, requirement of the recommender system is the revenues. Um, there's a, a, a 
study or the survey uh, by a company called Practical E-Commerce. Uh, as for them, uh, if there is a recommended system in your system, that can increase your sales from 8 to 12 percent. And because if you have recommended systems in your system, uh, you can potentially your, uh, uh, convert your browsers to buyers. And you can also identify the opportunities for cross-sell and upsell. So recommended system help uh, in addressing this information overload problem by retrieving the exact information that is required by the user. And it 